We're home. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> Guy, look at all those zinnias. Wow. What happens in a week? So we got in at 9.30 last night and Gabriel was a sweetheart and brought everything in from the car. Now I need to unpack this morning and plan my day. I'm thinking stay at home. Adventure can wait for tomorrow. Emergency day after vacation shopping. And there are new banana stickers. Hooray. It's my baby. It's my tiny baby. He's so precious. He's so, so precious. Round two on the suitcase. What you doing, Kai? Aww. She already likes suitcases. <laughs> She's a guy. Look what I just got under the influence of booktube. Definitely Instagram worthy. This one I heard about from Stephanie. And I'm going to be reading it with Alba from Suriella. And this one I heard about from Jacqueline. And I'm really excited to read them. Not much getting done around here. Oh, she's going to stretch. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, this is so cute. Boo baby. Boo baby. She's ignoring me again. <laughs> All right, I updated my Reading Women Month bingo, and I really want to pull the next, the next prompt, but I'm not gonna let myself because I am so behind on my buddy reads. Uh, I have to read 90 pages in here, and 90 pages in here, and 15 in here before I'm allowed to play bingo. And it's 4.30 in the afternoon. I'm so lazy today. Traveling wears me out, man. Okay. Okay, we're going to get serious. Here we go. Dang, I feel like Steve Donahue. Okay, the final installment. It came, baby. Ooh, that's going to be good. And I hope this is good. This was an Insta buy. I could not resist. I saw this. Did I see this? Where did I see this? I don't know. I saw it everywhere all of a sudden, and I had to have it. Harper Lee. Okay, the cat trap was activated at 4.37 p.m. Let's see how long it takes to go into effect. Okay, this is why I love Anthony Trollope. This was written 1876 and is still so relevant today. Nothing can degrade but guilt, said his wife. Yes, misfortune can degrade, and poverty. A man is degraded when the cares of the world press so heavily upon him that he cannot rouse himself. They have come to look at me as though I were a hunted beast. Reminds you of Twitter, doesn't it? And the news cycle, and Facebook. Lord, Facebook. Ugh. 4.55 and the trap is sprung. <laughs> Boo, baby, you fell for it. Boo, baby. Boo baby! She's ignoring me today. Boo baby! Roop, boop, boop, boop. Hey boo! Boo! <laughs> now we got bunk beds. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. This Japanese doctor that is teaching his patients easy, about this kidney stone. <laughs> He's got his poor patient trussed up and is talking to him about it, and it's horrible. <laughs> The rectum of Waibo Jiritsun releases a hot fart of horror. <laughs> you know, you know I laughed. That is helpful kitties. <laughs> Taking an Instagram picture, boo. You want to be in it? Is that what's going on here? You want to be a superstar? <laughs> Are you hiding from the Mockingbird guy? Do you think he can't see you? That's 
a good spot, guys. Oh my goodness. Woo. Wow, guy. He does not like you. What's back there? Huh? What is that? Boo baby? Boo baby? Boo baby? What's up, baby? Boo -baby? What's up, baby girl? There she is. There's that boo baby. You looking at that birdie? Okay, guys. We have a busy day today, and I am going to make it productive. So, I'm at my chiropractor's office for an adjustment, not a cracking. He doesn't like it when I say he's cracking me. Um, <laughs> and then I have to go to the grocery because we need to eat real food and not junk from the Dollar General. Um, not that they don't have good stuff there, but you know, we got frozen food yesterday. So, um, and then I am going to go home and unpack, do the laundry, and clean the house. Yes, yes I am. And then uh, we have to come back here for the gym. Gabriel has an appointment with his personal trainer. He's really enjoying it, so I'm happy for him. Um, <laughs> I'll do the treadmill while he's doing that. And then we're going to check out the local Thai restaurant. We've not been there yet. We've been trying all the Asian cuisine in our area, and I think that's the last one. And then, I mean, there's a lot. I mean, Chinese and Japanese, obviously, but there's also Mongolian that we love, and the Vietnamese restaurant that is my favorite, and we tried Korean right before we went to Florida, and now the Thai. So, yeah. And then, um... We have to go home, and I might mow the yard. I mowed the back last night, but I still need to mow the front. And then, somewhere in the midst of all that, I'm going to get caught up on my buddy reads. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not caught up, but I did read enough to check in with Patrice on the Zora Neale Hurston, and I read enough to check in with Petra and Kate with the... Um, Anthony Trollope, but I didn't quite finish the David Mitchell so that I could check in with Heidi. So that's my priority. And then I may have started another buddy read. I know, I know. <laughs> but if I finish all of that, then I can pull a new prompt from my reading women bingo mug. So that is the goal this evening. <sighs> we gotta pace ourselves. Okay. First things first, the chiropractor. I did good at the grocery today, babe. I saved forty-six dollars and thirty-two cents. Thirty-one percent of my bill. That goes straight into my book buying budget. <laughs> More books for me. Really good, boo. Yeah, really good. I just never get tired of this. <laughs> Guy. <laughs> so I'm sitting out here starting my new buddy read with Robert and Kendra and Jacqueline. And it's excellent. Excellent so far. Only five chapters in, but really good. And I was just thinking, I realized that... I plant geraniums every year because they remind me of my grandmother. And I plant moss roses every year because they remind me of my mother. And I planted petunias this year for the hummingbirds. And then the peppers I plant every year because I just like to watch things grow. So yeah, this is my happy little deck garden. going to sit down with my planner and organize my life, but I think I need to organize my workspace first. Hey guys! I'm sort of caught up on my buttery, butter, buddy, but buddy reads. I'm so excited I can't talk. So yes, we're going to pull a reading women prompt out of the mug. 
I am, not we. I mean, you're here, though. Okay. Mental health. This I'm going to have to think about. I'll be back. Ready? Yeah. I need help with my window stack. I need this one and oh, that one. Ooh. Good. That was fast. And that one under this paint. It's like a Jenga. Oh, good job. Woo! All right, so we have been to the gym and to the spa and to dinner at the Mexican restaurant. And I've conferenced with Jacqueline about my book options, and we've decided to go with. Eggshell Skull by Brie Lee for my mental health read. Um, she thinks this one will fit the bill. And I'm trying to read books off my shelves. So yay for another Aussie read. And in my searches, I found two books that are potential unhauls. So I really like Sue Monk Kid. The Secret Life of Bees, and also The Invention of Wings. Uh, so that's why I grabbed this at a used bookstore when I first got on BookTube. But this does not have good ratings on Goodreads. And I was reading the description, and it is not at all a book that I would really like. So I'm not into... Um, going off to discover myself through infidelity so yeah i'm not into that storyline i should say so i think i won't like this and this one is a little bit edgy um but it has good ratings so i'm not sure i'm interested in the subject material of this one but i may i didn't actually pick this out for myself so but um, i have it um so I may read a story or two just to see. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have thoughts on these two, but they probably won't be around by the end of the month, I'm thinking. So let me know. My flamingos have been blinded by the light. I gotta sharpen their vision. Looking good, buddy. Keep on guarding those tomatoes. Decided I needed to make some to-do lists <laughs> to get myself to do anything. So my watch later list is like, I don't know, 480 something. So I'm going to go be brutal right now. <sighs> I hate to disturb her, but I got to get up. But the good news is I've already got my watch later list down to 388. The goal is 375 today, so strong work, Biddy Boo. Good job. What are you doing, guy? You being all cute over there? Oh my goodness. I'm here for the popcorn. This is for you, Jacqueline. <laughs> Good guy. Oh my goodness. Look at the precious author photo of my new book. Aww. This is high kitty entertainment right here. Ooh, wait, what is he doing in there, guys? <laughs> Lightning bugs. Fireflies. Hummingbird moth sighting of the season. Oh, it's a big one. You know, they're my favorites. Wow. This is like my best footage ever. Life is good, man. Look at that. Wow. 
better get a picture. I haven't waited since we got back from Florida and I'm starting to feel like we've got a poison wood bottle situation on our hands. Gotta get to work. Okay, now my butt hurts, but at least I got this one little section done. And I need to go to Lowe's and get a trellis for my little... This is a um, weed. You know me. <laughs> but it's um, a green passion flower. So I let it grow every year and I never bother to get a trellis. And I need to do that. And yeah. I've been listening to some great booktube though. Um, yeah, look at all this I got to deal with. Oh my word. Um... I've been listening to Petra, had a great library haul, lots of great reads in that, and um, let's go look at the bees, and um, let's see, oh, Bookish Islander did the mid-year freakout tag, and it was so good, you guys, it was one of those tags where, you know, the way he answered the questions, you really got to know him well. Good answers, good answers. And um, now I'm watching Eric Carl Anderson's um, Latvian Heritage Adventures. So that's going to be a good one too. Oh, I did do this little bit also. So I think this one is next because I want to plant some nasturtiums. So yeah, temptation is real. We got to stay focused. I think I need this crepe myrtle in my life. No, mine's pink. Fuchsia. This is red with red leaves. Look at that. Definitely need the red moon. We might need to get another uh, one of those window boxes for the deck. Stick to the agenda. This is what we came here for. We're sitting on some weeds I need to pull, Missy. Hey, I need to pull those weeds. Little bee, little bee. That one's full. No room for you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Aren't moss roses beautiful? And there's that one. That, I wonder what that is. I don't think it's a bee. Something else. Anyway. Look at her go, man. She is coated with pollen. It's a twofer. Wow. Aww. Well guys, I didn't finish four books, but I finished two and they were great. So I gotta go. I'll chat with you soon. Bye.